Oh, hello. Good morning. Come in. Come in. I'm just doing a little bit of maintenance. How are you today? Very good. No, no, no. It's always good to see you. No, 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 no. Please, come here and sit down. What seems to be the problem? Really? You're kidding me. You have a warble on your brain? It's okay. No, 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 you came to the right place. When did you first see the symptoms for the warble? Now there's a procedure. I'm going to get to it right away. Well, after all, how could I call myself Dr. Andrew Michaels if I wasn't here to help you? Remain calm. Come here. Come in close. It's going to be all right. I'm going to move you a little bit closer. I'm not going to frighten you. But what we're going to do is some brain acupuncture. Yes. Mm-hmm. My sensors definitely tell me you have a warble in your brain. But we can deal with it. The trick to getting rid of a warble in your brain is you've got to shock it using electric brain acupuncture. The warble is trying to hide inside the brain cavity. And we must prevent it from penetrating deep inside the medulla oblongata or then it's too late what we'll do is we will electroshock it using brain acupuncture This will limit the warble's movements by shocking it deep inside the brain cavity. Then we will incinerate it using the same techniques. It's highly technical. I know this procedure sounds technical and frightening, but it's actually quite simple. We will, instead of using a needle, be introducing 
magnetic, electric, concentrated waves with pin point accuracy into the brain cavity until we narrow down the movements of the creature, the warble, and then we will turn up the juice, as they say, go in for a pinpoint bombing strike and incinerate the creature out of existence. I'll do this for you. Yes, normally warbles reside above the bone structure, between the skin and bone. In this case, these, dare I say, extraterrestrial warbles penetrate deeper into the brain cavity. You came to the right place. I will not allow an alien warble to penetrate your mandula oblongata. comes to worse. We'll make a quick incision. Then I will pierce the warble and remove it in emergency surgery. But I don't think we have to do that. You've come here soon enough. We should be able to stop it before it's too late. Now you must come closer. I know it's frightening, but you've got to move in closer. Just slide in just a little bit closer. Don't worry. I won't bite. Not really. enough. There. Just right. Just right. Now what I'm going to do is narrow down the location of the warble and I'm going to use this electric acupuncture device to emit a laser-like electric needle through the dur oh, the dural dermal layer, dermal layer, into the brain cavity. You're going to have to help me and tell me if I'm close. If you can feel the warble moving, tell me where. Just point to it. It will be okay. Get ready. Here's the first one. you feel that at? Okay, let's try that area then. I know. Try not to move. Try not to move. Okay. It's moving around, isn't it? We're going to have to up the juice. Let me try this side. Maybe we can corner it by going a little bit past its movement points. Okay. This isn't working. Turn it off. Now, 
This isn't working. We're going to have to try something else. The warble is moving around too much and you can't sense where it is. What we're basically going to do here is much in the way you hear, using a stethoscope, I'm going to attach a stethoscope pad to your head. Right here. Okay. And it's wired in, hardwired, into these headphones. Now for you to properly hear the modulations, we need to wear these so that you can narrow down. There you go. Where it is. There you go. Very good. We'll just put the wires on that side. It won't be that bad. Here, let me get this around your neck so you're more comfortable. There. All right. Now, all I have to do is plug it into the receiver right here with a little tiny jack. And you'll start to hear it move when we do the shock treatments. Okay. So let me plug that in. Right there. Now, we're going to try again. All right. Now, try not to move. It's very important. Tell me when you can hear it and where, what ear it's closer to. Okay. Just gotta work with me. Okay. Is it closer there? Do you sense it? Where do you sense it at? More over this way. Do you sense it? Okay, that's why I use the lowest setting. I didn't want to, you know, get it running around. I wanted it to move slowly so you could feel where the warble, where this worm in your brain is and exactly where it's traveling. I'm going to step up the voltage a little bit and apply laser precision to this area right here. Let me know if you can tell if it's moving or not. Right there. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Okay. It's okay. Try to hold still. We don't want to travel down to the brain stem. It could cause disruption to your spinal cord. And in that case, paralysis might be a side effect. Give me your hands. Give me your hands. Now, why are you frightened? Because you have a worm in your head. Well, it's like any other virus or bacteria. Right now, it's so tiny, you barely could sense it. But it's scary because now you can feel it. It's like a little amoeba, a virus, a germ. What do we do with those things? That's right, we treat them. That's right. And we make them go away. And that's what we're going to do with you. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up until we get you cured. Okay? I, I hear you, and I acknowledge your concerns. Yes. I know. It's okay. Come here. No, no, no. 
calm down. I know this might seem unusual, but come here. Let me give you a hug. There, there. There, there. Calm down. You should not go through this procedure frightened at all. Give me your hands again. No, no, no. Creatures from another world. But look at me. I'm not in quarantine. I'm not in a mask. You're not behind five inches of glass. Nothing's going to burst out of your stomach. This is not aliens. This is just a little, tiny, almost microscopic, tiny little creature just wiggling around inside your brain cavity. Nothing to worry about. And you know, the good thing is, we've already done substantial damage just by introducing electric shock to it. Already, it's confused. We've inhibited its growth. It cannot grow anymore. You're in safe hands. You're going to be all right. And I'm not going to quit until you're healthy again. You have my word on it. Scouts on her. Oh, yeah, I'm not much into scouts either. That's about a handshake. Yeah. listening like you are to the humming that's being produced in the movements of it. Tell me if you can sense it moving now. That's right. You feel it over there to the right. Alright. Good. That's exactly what we want. We want to keep it pinned down to the right a little bit. And then we want to narrow the beam down and raise the pressure. Then we want to cook it. Now it might run, so hold still. One big one right. Pinpoint accuracy now. Right there. See, it's running. It's trying to get away. Now it's over on the left. Okay. Relax. All right, wait till it stops moving. That's it. There. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's moving slower now, isn't it? Traveling slower. Barely moving. You can barely hear it. That's right. We lanced it like a boil. That's right. Pinpoint accuracy. Now we're going in for the we're going to put an end to this baby right now. Tell me if you can feel it move when I do this. No. No movement. No sense of movement. You can't tell it's moving. Let me get in closer. Whisper as lightly as you can. Do you sense it? How about
and stay still. What we're going to do now. See if we can sense it now. So hold still. I have some good news to report. That's right. It's not moving. Paralyzed it. Immobilized it. Now we want to go in for the kill. The highest setting. You must hold still if you feel any movement like this. feel a strong buzzing in your brain. Try to hold as still as you can. Coming in now. There. Right there. There you go. There you go. Do you feel it? Yes. Right. some success. I think we've successfully torched it. Let me wipe your eyes. There. You feel better? Okay. Let's get the headphones off. All right. There you go. There we go. Take those off. I... I'm so proud of you. I really am. And what I want to do now is we're going to get a little bit of lotion. And we're going to lotion up those spots that we shocked. Bring a little bit of comfort to the skin because it's a little bit red. Hold still. There you go. There you go. And now we're going to wait. And we're going to put a second layer of lotion on there. Let me warm it with my hands. There you go. There you go. Work it in there. And in the back of your head. There. Pumping that in in the back. And a little bit over on this side. That's right. Just a little bit on that side. And back over here. Very nice. Nothing to be afraid of. But certainly nothing to be ashamed of. strokes like that nice strokes nice even strokes to smooth your skin out I don't want you to go around feeling awkward having all these little red dots all over your skin kind of like a sunburn Maybe just a little more, huh? Okay. I know I could use some on my own skin. Maybe I'll put some on when we're done here. There you go. That looks a lot better. Then around the back. Around the back. 
in the on the side on the neck will help loosen up the neck and your shoulders. Work your shoulders a little bit. Help loosen you up a little bit. There you go. Very nice. Okay, now we're just gonna. Yeah, I know I have a little bit of dry skin on my own hands. I could use a little lotion. <laughs> Those, you know, you wash your hands a lot during the day. And these latex gloves really dry you out. That feels so good. Doesn't that feel good? It's very enriching. You've got to take care of your skin. Mm -hmm. I feel better now. All right, so let me just wipe off the excess. Don't wanna drop any tools. I'm gonna do a final scan here and uh, wipe off a little bit of that excess right there on you. There we go. And a little bit over here, just the excess. That's nice. Very good. Now, what I want to do is a very light, very, very light pressure test. Sharp end, dull end. Dull, see? Doesn't hurt at all. Sharp end, ouchy, ouchy. We want to just check to make sure. First with the dull end, if you feel pressure. If you do not feel it, just raise your hand. That's good. Okay, let me do it over on this side a little bit. Now the same procedure with the sharp end. Ow, and I'll be very ginger with it. Very ginger, okay? Very light. And now a little bit on this side. Maybe be any residual nerve effects from it. And what I'd like you to do now is follow my pen. We're going to move you back a little bit. There you go. Just a little bit. Hold still. Just so you can see me better. Looking straight at my nose, follow my pen a little bit for me, will you? I am, I am such a doofus. I need you to look at my nose. Just tell me when you can't see the same or don't follow it with your eyes. We're checking your peripheral vision. Okay. Very good. Once more. Keep looking at my eyes. And the same with the other side. Keep looking at my nose. Such an amateur. Well, I'm not a medical doctor. I'm actually a doctor in astrophysics, astrobiology, and astrophysics. Don't worry, they give this de degree to anybody. Just ask any flat earther. Okay. 
same thing. Okay, good, good. Yeah, very good. Okay, well, let me just get you in close one more time. I'm just going to lean you forward a little bit. I just want to look at Good. I think you're all right. <clears throat> I feel very confident that you're cured. You no longer have a warble in your brain. Do you feel better? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, we basically, because it was so small, we basically fried it and it'll be like a tiny piece of tissue, scar tissue, and the white blood cells in your and antibodies inside your body will eat it up much like in the way we send a dead virus inside the body you know when you get inoculated and the body will now have a regimen like a natural antibiotic of its own to deal with the warble so if you have any more warble penetrations into your skull cavity or into any other section of your body, the body will automatically fight it at inception once it's detected and literally eat it up, gobble it right up. The carapace around the alien warble prevents the body's defenses from doing this the first time. So when we fry it, literally cook it, in the brain acupuncture process then it cracks the carapace and then the body's able to penetrate eat and dissolve the creature so it's going to just basically be digested out of your body and go away if you're nervous we can do a full brain scan to prove it would that make you more comfortable with follow-up procedure Okay, what we'll do is, <clears throat> when you leave, have my receptionist schedule you a brain scan. Uh, you'll have to wait around a little bit because it'll have to be done today. And we'll get you a full brain scan and they'll show you where the dead warble is. And then you'll have to come back two days later, or three, probably three days would be better. They'll do the exact same brain scan. You can come see my receptionist. She'll take care of it. Oh, free of charge. Free of charge. Anytime we have to deal with um, alien technology or alien science, you're a victim here. And as a victim, your government is very concerned with your well-being. And we wouldn't think of charging you for any of these procedures. No, no, no. No, no, no. It's okay. Totally free. You don't even have to make a copay. We do like donuts here, though, at the uh, Department of Navy special operations all right well it sounds like we have a plan that's right three days from now they'll do another scan and they'll show you on the scan once you're done you can come right into the technician's office and they'll show you right where it's where where it's been removed it won't be in the same the same place very good I think it's important for doctors and uh, caretakers to take the time to listen to their patients. Listen to what they have to say. It's very important. Make them feel at ease. And I'm glad you feel at ease. The device, yes, it's a electronic brain acupuncture tool. Mm-hmm. They're all made in China, believe it or not, yes. Very nice tool. But it shocks like like hell if you put it on your fingertip. Kind of like a stun gun. To be nerves on your fingertip. Well, it was, it was good to meet you. Thank you. Yes. I know, I hope you have a wonderful Memorial Day. Yes, you deserve a good holiday weekend. 
Well, you're more than welcome to come and follow up if you think there's anything you need to further questions you want to have answered. Okay. Well, if that's everything, then um, you please um, go, yes, set the appointment with my receptionist and have a wonderful day. You too. And, and until I see you again, please have a most blessed day. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. That was a very nice person. I'm glad I got to help them. Alien warbles. What are they going to think up next? Oh, man. That hurts.